Working in a carnival as a sideshow freak sometime in 18th century Romania, Damper Rain is routinely burned by holy water, stabbed and fed sheep's blood so that she can heal instantly, all for the amusement of the paying onlookers. When news of her performances gets around, three members of the Brimstone, a secret society of vampire hunters, set out to find Rain. Unfortunately, Sebastian, Vladimir, and Katerin arrive the morning after Rain has escaped the carnival, so they are forced to pick up her trail and keep searching. Rain has joined a group of travelers, who drop her off in a nearby village, where she is summoned by a fortune teller who tells her that her father is Kagan, the most powerful vampire in the land. Rain reveals that Kagan assaulted and later killed her mother, and asks the fortune teller how to find and kill him. The fortune teller tells her about the eye, a talisman which Kagan is seeking. If Rain could get the eye, which is kept in the Salambrian Monastery, she would be sure to get an audience with Kagan. Rain doesn't know it, but Kagan has also been searching for her. He's had one of his vampire henchmen, Domaster, pick up her trail. Domaster has overheard what the fortune teller told Rain about the eye. When he relays the message to Kagan that Rain is going in search of the eye, Kagan orders that Rain be watched, and when she does get the eye, she be killed. Rain heads for the monastery, followed by both the three brimstones and by Domaster with his band of about a dozen thralls. The monks give Rain dinner and a place to rest for the night. While everyone is asleep, Rain sneaks around looking for the eye. She kills a deformed monk in order to get the key around his neck, uses the key to open the chamber where the eye is kept, dodges rotating blades to get to the pedestal where it sits, but the moment she picks it up, the door slams shut, and the room begins to fill with holy water. She leaps to the ceiling where she hangs upside down to escape the water. While waiting, she looks at the eye, which is suddenly assimilated into her own eye. Suddenly, the chamber door opens up, revealing the head monk. He tells Rain that the eye has made her impervious to water. The eye is actually one of three talismans, an eye, a rib, and a heart, that belong to a long-dead vampire named Belial. Belial found a way to protect vampires against water, sunlight, and crosses. Upon his death, his body parts were scattered in fear of some vampire getting hold of them and becoming invincible. Because the eye has now become a part of Rain's body, the monk won't let her leave the monastery. Suddenly, a shout rings out that the monastery is being attacked. Domaster and his thralls begin knocking off monks right and left. Sebastian, Vladimir, and Katerin join the fight, but it is Domaster who succeeds in knocking out Rain and riding off with her body. Katerin is ordered to return to Brimstone to tell them that Domaster has Rain and that Rain has the Eye, while Sebastian and Vladimir pursue Domaster. Because day is approaching, Domaster is forced to take shelter at Leonid's palace of prostitutes, vampires, and other decadents. When Leonid lays eyes on Rain, he wants to add her to his collection, but Domaster says that Rain is for Caden. However, when Leonid learns that Rain has the Eye, he has Domaster placed in chains and means to get the eye from Rain, even if he has to cut it out himself. Sebastian and Vladimir have infiltrated the palace. They come upon Rain just after she's been stabbed several times by Leonid. Vladimir tosses a blanket over Rain and shoots out the windows, allowing in the sunlight. Leonid burns to death, and Sebastian and Vladimir carry Rain's body back to Brimstone headquarters. They place Rain in a cell but Rain promises not to feed from then and asks only for animal blood so that she can heal and get on with her business. A few rats later, Rain is healed. Vladimir convinces her to stay and train with Brimstone so that they can attack Kagan together. A new set of clothes and a fresh sword, and Rain is ready to go. Although Rain's stay at Brimstone seems to have given morale a shot in the arm, Katerin isn't pleased by Rain's presence. In her correspondence with her father, the Viscount Elrich, the two of them express the belief that Brimstone is lost. Although Elrich continues to protect the secret location of the Brimstone Society in order to protect his daughter's safety. On the other hand, Elrich is plotting to unseat Kagan. Meanwhile, Kagan has obtained the Rib Talisman and has ordered his thralls to comb the land for Brimstone's location, destroy everyone in Brimstone, and bring rain to him. After arming themselves with gunpowder, swords, and holy water from an arms dealer in town, 
Vladimir, Sebastian, and Rain return to Brimstone. Before they reach the fortress, however, they are met by a wounded patriot. With his dying breath, he reveals that Katarin has betrayed them and that everyone in Brimstone is dead. That night, while Vladimir and Sebastian sleep out under the stars, Rain tries to sneak off on her own. When Sebastian wakes up and tries to stop her, Rain confesses that it is because of her that all those people died and that she's going to go it alone from now on. Also, she intends to find the heart talisman because she thinks that will give her the fighting edge against Caden. Rain's first stop is back at the Brimstone Fortress, where she finds everyone is either dead or dying. Suddenly, she hears voices and hides behind a wall. It is Demaster telling his thralls that the Danfer's body is not among the victims and that they must return to tell Caden. Rain goes looking deeper in the fortress and comes upon Katarin looking for the heart, which she tells her companions was buried by her grandfather at the bottom of a pool of water. Katarin dives into the pool to retrieve it, and Rain follows. Katarin stabs Rain in the abdomen, grabs the talisman, and begins swimming to the surface. Rain follows. When they reach the surface, Rain grabs Katarin, slits open her neck, and drinks her blood, which immediately heals Rain's wound. As Katarin lies dead, Rain now has the heart, and she leaves to confront Caden. Fearing that Rain is no match for Kagan, Vladimir and Sebastian saddle up their horses and ride to Kagan's castle, where they hide in the bushes, waiting for Rain to show. When she does, she rides straight to the gate and calls out for Kagan. Rain is immediately escorted to Domaster. She gives him the box with the heart in it and asks to see Kagan, but Domaster tosses her in a cell in the dungeon until it comes time to remove the eye. He then takes the heart to Kagan. In order to get inside the castle, Vladimir and Sebastian storm the front gate and are immediately captured by the guards and placed in a cell near Rain. It is time for the ceremony that will remove the eye from Rain and unite it with the heart and rib. Rain is escorted to the ceremonial chamber and tied to an altar while they ready the knife. Meanwhile, Vladimir and Sebastian have tricked a thrall into entering their cell, overpowered him, and managed to escape. They storm the ceremonial chamber and start whacking away at the guards. Sebastian cuts Rain free. Meanwhile, Kagan has opened the box which holds the heart and found it empty. He runs his sword through Vladimir and then turns on Rain. They cross swords several times, managing to stab each other, but Kagan ends up on top. As he prepares to cut out Rain's eye, Sebastian tosses Kagan a bottle of holy water, then shoots an arrow into it. The bottle breaks, and the holy water eats away at Kagan's face. Rain takes the opportunity to thrust an arrow through Kagan's heart, and he turns to dust. With Kagan and Vladimir both dead, Rain runs to Sebastian. He is also severely wounded. Rain offers to turn him, but he refuses and dies in her arms. Rain, the sole survivor amid the carnage, takes her seat on Kagan's throne. If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy to hit the like button, and if you disliked it, hit the dislike button twice, just to be sure. It would be best if you watched the whole movie. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this.